Independence Day is a time when we remember the American Revolution and the creation of our country. But in Lawrence, a man is trying to keep alive the memory of those who served in another conflict that shaped our democracy. John Batten shows us his effort. A lone sentinel walks the shady lanes of Lawrence's Oak Hill Cemetery. He's guarding a treasure. There's a lot of history. Yep, a lot of history here. Lawrence does have a lot of Civil War history, and Bob Wandell wants to see that it's remembered. But behind each one of these guys, there's a story. Bob wears the uniform because he's a reenactor, but he's also a member of the Sons of Union Soldiers. He joined when he found out four of his relatives were in the war. He was a Medal of Honor winner. And now he prowls cemeteries in several counties, trying to save crumbling headstones of Civil War soldiers. That was turned around. Oh. and facing the tree. And locating lost graves. There's one here that doesn't have a tombstone, and I've been working on trying to get one. But most importantly, he documents what he finds. First I came through and I could find these fairly easy. He's been at it for nearly 10 years now. Last year he entered his information in the organization's national database. He had 7,000 names. Trying to keep up with all of them, it just, uh, it's a big task. He worries that there won't be anyone to take over his duties and that a rich heritage will disappear. John Batten, NBC Action News. Fascinating. Well, Bob says on July 26th, he will have the honor of carrying the ashes of a Civil War veteran in a ceremony at Fort Leavenworth.